Hi, I wanted to show some piercing probes uh, that a friend gave me. Um, they're really quite nice. I've not seen these before. Uh, these are made by Pomona. And what you can do with these, uh, they come in pairs. Uh, they're basically for inserting in wires like this. And they can be pierced. You can just about see there the, the, the piercing there through the insulation. Uh, so the way the work is, you can use it with the banana plugs, so whether they're insulated ones or not, you can plug them in there. And then there's this lever here, which when you push back, you can insert the wire in, and it should automatically centre because uh, of the shape of the, the, the plastic pieces. And by turning this thread here, I can move that pin in and out so you can see it moving in and out and the banana plug does not rotate so you can actually leave the banana plug there and turn this in in and out so pretty much that's it um this this mechanism here moves this metal pin in and out you can just about see there and um yeah and you use this uh, spring clip to push the wire in so the way you'd use it is you'd unscrew first like that and then put in any wire uh, between 14 and 22 AWG. But I've tried it with thinner wires as well. So this is a 10 strands of 0.1 millimeter. And once it's in there, you can and and screwed in. That's you know uh, you can you can check by bringing that back, and you can see there that it's pierced in there. So it does seem to work with thinner wires as well. Um, but if I look at the wiring I've got here, I've got the thinnest wires, 22 AWG, which is uh, supported. Uh, these two are both 22 AWG. Uh, one's got some tougher insulation on it, so it's actually thinner. And this one's PVC insulation. So, for example, if we try both of them, if I unscrew that off. Okay, take that off. And the idea is, yeah, it will, it will make a piercing mark here. And if that's important to you, you can always cover that up with some insulation. Uh, so it it's not non-destructive, but it's as close to that as possible for for testing with wires where you cannot access the end of the wire. Okay, so if I get a uh, 22 AWG, so this is a thin insulation one, and I should be able to put it in there like that. So yeah, fairly straightforward. And then I just turn this until I start feeling some pressure. So then I know that I'm into the insulation and then turn a little bit more and I can check by by pushing that back to see if it's actually touching the insulation and then plug that in like that and I mean just for this test I'm going to do the same thing on the other end so put that there and wind this in Okay, so that should be making contact. And then I can go to there. Ah, you can hear it's working. So there it is. Um, and then I can unscrew it off again. And then just pull that off. And I don't know if you can see that over there. There just about see the bit of insulation which got pierced so that's a thin wire uh, 22 awg with the thin insulation and if i try a thicker one so this one's still 22 awg and this is easier to center as well it's you know quite nice and thick and then just rotate that okay i can feel that's in uh, and even if I'm not entirely sure if it's pierced entirely through the insulation, I can always tighten that up later uh, if I'm getting a value which I'm not expecting from the measurement. Okay. Tighten that. Yeah. And you can see straight away, yeah, it's 0.2 ohm, so yeah, I'm, I'm into there. And screw it off. And yeah, it's kind of visible there. You can see it there. 
All right. All right. So that's 22 AWG. I've got some slightly thicker wires here as well. Uh, this is 16 AWG. So it makes the thickest wire. But again, this has got thin insulation on it. It's kind of like uh, it's MPPE, I think, or PTFE, but very thin insulation, uh, which is very tough. So uh, let's see if that pierces as well. Yeah, I can feel that. I can do the same thing on this side. And tighten that as well. I can see there. It's, it's already made a good, good contact. Good contact there. So yeah, that's it. I mean, pretty simple product, but quite nice, easy to use. And that's what it looks like. Not sure what that hole at the end is for. Maybe it's just for, for looping it into something so you don't lose them. And there are other versions of this as well. Uh, there's longer versions with uh, this part, you know, greatly extended. So you can um, probe this in places where you cannot easily get, get to the wire. And also there's another version where in here, this is a banana plug socket, but there's one which will take uh, normal multimeter probes, so the, the smaller diameter, so that if you've got normal test probes, you can push them in there as well. But I think the banana plug one is a bit more useful. Thanks for watching.